Good day. You can see it says particles practice. This is not a formal assignment. It's just to make sure you have some idea of what's going on when we look at these representations of atoms, elements, molecules, and compounds. Typically these are going to be in the gas state. Gas makes it easiest to tell because things will either be in the form of atoms or molecules. We can see the separation in the gas state. When it's solid or liquid, they're close together and it's hard to tell if they're chemically bonded or not. All right, so we look at this. In these things, you either have to circle two, three, or four things. And I won't be circling, I'll just do it this way and you'll copy it out. So when I look at this, I see there's an atom, 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 atom. So I have five atoms, so I'm gonna circle atoms. I have no molecules, because none are stuck together. Then I look at this and I wanna say, well, do I have an element or a compound or both? Well, the blue are one kind of element and the orange are a different type of element, but I have no compounds. So for this one, I circle atoms, and then I circle elements. This one, again, gas state. Now I look at this and I say, whoa, hmm, atom or molecule? Well, that's a molecule, and this is identical molecule. How do I know it's molecule? Because two atoms are stuck together. So I circle molecules here. Now I wanna know, do I have elements or compounds? Well, I have two different elements stuck together, so it's going to be a compound. Next one, I say atom or molecule. Well, I see atoms stuck together, atoms stuck together, atoms stuck together. So I circle molecules because the atoms are bonded together. Then I want to know element or compound. Well, all the same element, all the same element, all the same element. So I circle element. And that could be something like ozone, O3. This one. I see I have some tiny atoms and some big atoms and things that are bow ties are molecules. So I circle atoms and molecules. Now these tiny ones and the gray ones are elements, so I circle that. And the bow ties, we have different elements joined together, so I circle compounds. You're going to see number five is like number three. I have molecules because I have atoms bonded together, but these are identical atoms that are bonded together, so I circle elements. Now the last one says solid, and so from this technically we can't tell for atoms or molecules, but we're gonna circle atoms, because we know solid, the atoms are locked together in this case, and because they're all identical, we know for sure that we're looking at elements. So that's how you tackle that, and that'll be useful for some of the textbook questions.